Let's talk today about insulation systems. Uh, at Storm Power Components, we have a number of options and methods to insulate uh, bus bars for a dielectric withstand. Uh, first, uh, the simple styles. Uh, we can insulate as simply as uh, a rubber jacket, uh, heat shrink uh, around a bus bar, around components. Uh, you can uh, wrap insulative tapes like a Kapton tape or a polyester, depending on the voltage level of protection that you got to have. So we can do uh, a number of different uh, methods for simple insulation uh, systems. Uh, if we look at medium style insulation for protection, we have epoxy powder coating, which is a dry powder applied to clean dry bus bars. Uh, they can be either applied via an electrostatic spray uh, that we have. Uh, we have several spray booths that we use or fluidized bed which applies a thicker coating to them. The fluidized bed system takes a hot bus bar, dips it in uh, a fluidized powder that's that's moving around by air. It looks quite liquid, but it's actually an air. The electrostatic spray, uh, again, is a, a charged, positive charged spray of the powder onto the parts. Uh, we mask the parts with tape where we want the electrical contacts to be, otherwise the entire part is coated. And then through either method, they go into an oven to cure, and then the masking is removed. Epoxy powder coating is an excellent dielectric system for voltages uh, that are relatively uh, low, right up to high, uh, up to 30,000 volts of protection if you needed it. It's also an excellent insulation system for bus bars that have geometry to them. So if you have forms, U-forms, shapes, multi-level things, where applying film insulation system or heat shrink jackets uh, are not effective, Epoxy powder coating is an excellent method to do that. Uh, and then uh, a more complex insulation system are film dielectrics. Films are uh, a variety of uh, types that we utilize. Most common is a mylar, we call it a PET. Uh, it's a 105 degree C continuous use dielectric. It is dielectrically very strong, typically 7,000 volts per mil, and we use an average 5, 7, 10 mils of, of film on those. These films have a resin system, what we call a B-staged resin system on them, so it's heat activated. So we take the bus bar and the film on either side and we fixture them and position them, and they go into a special laminating press that puts the pressure on them and that pressure uh, and the heat activate the resin and then they cool down and leave a nice solid construction. So it's a very durable uh, insulation system. We have a number of different films that we use. PEN, which is a similar, it's a relative of PET, it's a polyethylene naphthalate, it's a higher thermal withstand, about 125 degrees continuous and a dielectric strength of about 5,000 volts per mil. Another very common is uh, Nomex, a very well-known UL loves Nomex. It's an aramid fiber paper. Again, 5, 10 mils of, of thickness. It has a higher withstand of about 150 to 180 degrees C, approximately 600 volts per mil. Another insulation system would be Kapton. Uh, a polyimid film. It's a very strong dielectric. It's very tough. It's got higher thermal capability and uh, again excellent uh, dielectric strength. We often see these in high temperature uh, military type applications. And finally there are a number of different hybrids, uh, composites that may com combine a little bit of, of uh, this film uh, bonded to a, separate, a second film uh, for example, a PET and an OMAX, or, or you may have an insulation system that incorporates a rubber jacket with PET film or with epoxy powder coating. So we have a number of hybrid methods that we can use. Uh, some use uh, mica in, you know, integrated into the insulation film for some uh, 
uh, higher uh, voltage requirement systems. So bottom line at Storm, we've got a variety of different uh, insulation systems that uh, will help you uh, protect your, your bus bars.